Hey everyone, I wanted to come in here and just kind of talk about something that I have learned along my journey. I got started uh, in February of 2012. So in just a couple weeks, I will have been on this journey for eight years. I was somebody who quit everything. I had a lot of shame around that. I had been told my whole entire life that I never stick to anything and as I can take a step back and look now, I realize that my ADD was a lot of the reason behind why I didn't stick to anything. But also, I 100% believe that mindset's everything. So if you label yourself as a quitter, if you allow people to label yourself that way as well, you'll start to identify as whatever you're calling yourself. So you need to be very careful with your language, extremely careful, because our brains are super complex. We cannot act in a different way than the way we see ourselves. So the thing is, if you see yourself as this tough, you know, strong person, you're not going to be able to allow yourself to be vulnerable unless you give yourself permission and you start using that language. So with that being said, I labeled myself as a quitter, as somebody who was a failure and it wasn't until Beachbody until I was part of one of these groups I had a coach and I had a solid plan that I actually got through my first 30 days of P90X got through my 60 days and 90 days and I completed it and along the way I gained a lot of confidence who I am now is definitely not who I was when I started in 2012 and not even the same person I was a year ago or two years ago uh, what I've learned um, are a couple things that you can set a plan and it's super important to have a plan, to be committed to it, to have the support, to have the accountability. But the thing is, shit happens. Um, and yesterday, I, for example, missed my workout. I have a lot of reasons that I could tell you of why I missed my workout, but, but simply stated, I just didn't use my time wisely. But what I have learned and I've seen from other people and from my experiences, when people miss a workout, they go into this shame and guilt cycle and they're like, oh my God, I failed again. Here it goes. I always do this. It's always something. I'm so mad at myself. And then they just go down this spiral, this rabbit hole of, of a lot of times bad decisions of like, oh, screw it. This week is shot. I'm going to eat whatever. Screw it. You know, and then a lot of times people don't get back on track or they do the whole I'll start tomorrow, I'll start next month. And the thing is, every day we wake up, we have a new chance. There are no rules set in stone that says we have to start on a Monday or on the first of the month or the beginning of the year. Pick up where you left off. Don't wait, because you're gonna lose your momentum. And something that I learned almost two years ago, February 2nd, ironically, I was a part of the 2B Mindset Test Group. And that actually was the anniversary of when I started my journey. On February 2nd of 2012 is when I pushed play with P90X for the first time. What I learned from 2B Mindset is exercise is extra credit. Exercise is important. Exercise has its place in your life when it comes to, um, you know, heart health and, and being active at any level is better than a sedentary life. However, so many people use exercise as a punishment is, oh fuck, I ate like a plate of brownies or I ate that greasy cheeseburger or coworkers brought in some snack and I just couldn't control myself. So now I'm gonna go punish myself and work out at the gym for an hour. I'm gonna do an extra workout. And so they associate working out and ex this workout plan that we're doing only has a five day a week schedule. So if I wanted to, I could double up because they're 30 minute workouts, or I could just roll it over and do it on one of my scheduled rest days. There is no rules. You just show up. And one, and one thing that I learned from Morning Meltdown 100 over the summer is just because you start on a certain day and the calendar should, would reflect that you would end on a certain day, stuff's gonna happen. There's no such thing as perfect. Just finish it. Just finish it. Be there from the beginning to the end. No matter how long it takes, it is better to just continue on imperfectly than to give up because you couldn't be perfect because that's not gonna happen. And what I love about all of these things is that I've learned it over time 
I've been able to help other people and it has spilled over into other aspects of my life, not just nutrition, not just fitness, and not just weight loss. So I'm here to tell you that if you miss a day, it's okay. I give you permission. But at the same time, plan your workouts. Try to get a, a ahead of yourself by planning these these workouts because you're number one. You deserve to be number one. And if you don't put yourself number one, nobody's going to take you seriously. And everybody else is going to come first and things are going to come first. And you're going to become resentful and bitter and angry and depressed. And nobody really likes that. But at the same time, don't beat yourself up. Same thing with, with eating. Plan your meals. It's so important to plan. But if you slip up, don't go down this shame spiral. Just say, hey, I messed up according to my plan, but it doesn't make me a loser. It doesn't make me a failure. It doesn't make me an F up. It just means that I got off track. I'm going to, you know, label this as a treat instead of a cheat. And then tomorrow I'm going to do better. And I'm going to look at how I can make better choices when I'm faced with the same thing because you know it's going to come up again. So I just wanted to give you my two cents on that because... It's so important that you learn this and that you remember this.